Just a short uh, video about my 12 volt central solar lighting system for my garden. Uh, these panels have been up here a fair while now, about 10 years, and uh, they're showing a little bit of sign at the edges that uh, water may have got in, but they're still functioning perfectly okay. Um, they're positioned on top of my shed on a piece of board, which I think probably needs replacing as well. Um, the one on the left is about um, 12 watts, I believe. I think it's dropped now to around about 8, and the one on the right, I believe, is around about 10 watts as well. Here we can see the business end of things. Um, on the left, we have a charge controller. That also has two light outputs, which can be set for dust dawn or two hours, four hours, etc. On the right, there's just a simple voltmeter and amp meter, so I can just monitor the charge. Um, they're mounted onto a battery box, a standard battery box you might get for a caravan. And inside is an 85 amper hour um, caravan battery, in other words, a deep discharge battery. I don't recommend using car batteries for this sort of thing because they don't take too kindly to deep discharges and uh, they're likely to fail very, very quickly. Um, so that's the main control system. During the winter, I have a small charger and a timer, so just to top the battery up, if I don't have enough uh, power to keep uh, the uh, lamps on during the darkest months, um, so that's um, just a, a little extra auxiliary um, power supply to keep things ticking over. On the side of the shed there's a junction box and the cabling to the various lights I've got around the garden I just put underground. It's simple speaker cabling because we're only talking a few milliamps here for LEDs and that's all that's needed. As for the lighting I use, these look like just normal solar lights. In fact they are, except they've been modified. Each one contains six LEDs, three LEDs in series twice on the 12 volt system and about a 220 ohm resistor in series approximately. And that makes up most of the lighting I've got in my garden that works off the 12 volt system. Having 12 volts also means you're open to use MR16 LEDs also if you wish, but of course um, you need to uh, watch the amount of power you are drawing. This lamp is uh, connected to the second circuit on the controller and it runs dust to dawn all night, just a security light really because the street lights um, in the town don't run all night like they used to, so it's nice to have a little bit of security lighting.